Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist. So today I've got another video guys. Today I'm going to be sharing my results from the game we just gone by on Ultimate Champions. And I'm also going to be spending some of these MGC coins on some packs as well in the pack stores you can see here. So stick around to see what I get as I look to build my squads on Ultimate Champions, the fantasy football game. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Ultimate Champions yet and you want to give it a try, you can use the link in the description. You will get a free Epic card after purchasing $20 worth of packs on the pack store that you see here, where you're going to get loads of players in these packs, including some starter packs as well. Where I think you get around six or eight players there in these starter packs to start your collection. You can then use them in the league mode, which is free to play, guys. And the other scarcities of cards, like the epic cards, these PayPal cards here, don't get any bonus in terms of their score because of the different scarcity. So it's a total level playing field, the league mode, and you can, of course, win some MGC as well by hitting certain points thresholds, as you can see here. And you can also have a chance of winning an epic card as well if you finish in the top 20 and 100 champ token which is a cryptocurrency so you can obviously convert that into pounds or whatever your local currency is okay then guys on to today's video so as i say these are my results from the game week just gone by so i'm just going to quickly run through these and then what i'm going to do is spend the mgc that i've got from this game week on some packs in the pack store I've also already spent some of my champ tokens that I won on a player, so I'll just show you who I purchased here. I'm going to arrange this by newest. And I actually picked up a goalkeeper here, Mafau Mitchell of the in the French League 2. He actually plays for Ajaccio now in the French League 2. He had a really good game in the last game. One that I needed for my collection in terms of the tournament, which I'll come on to in a moment. I also got a couple of... Um, Common cards as well picked up in the league mode. So Awusu, Solomon Awusu, and also Riddle Bako. He's a good player for Wolfsburg, and obviously the German league is due to kick off soon. So let's go over to my results page again, just to run through these. So in the Finnish league, I finished 320th, but that got me 25 MGC. In the Iceland league, I finished 177th, got me 25 MGC. In the Latvian League, I finished 86, 85 MGC for that. In the Norwegian League, I finished 67th, got 115 MGC. Obviously, these MGC can use to buy packs as well, guys. In the Romanian Super League, I finished 100, sorry, 47th, so I got 100 MGC. In the All Stars League, I finished 168th, so I got 100 MGC for that. Use Ultimate Champions Conference League, I finished 4th in this one, guys, so 125 MGC there. And the Ultimate Champions Premier League, I finished fourth as well. So I actually got 220 champ tokens there and 650 MGC. In the Ultimate Champions Tournament, I finished 344th, got 100 MGC. Over 28th, I finished 57th, 280 MGC. That's just over 28 players in that league. And in the league mode of the game, which says free to play, I won two common cards, 75 MGC. In the, in the other Ultimate Champions competition, I finished 90th and won 300 MGC. And in the under-23 Ultimate Champions, I finished 40th and won 400 MGC. And in the other All-Stars League, I finished 10th in that one. So that was a good position, guys. I think that was in the Pro League as well. So that was 250 champ and 1,200 MGC. So that's left me with a nice balance here. Like I say, I've already spent some champ token on that goalkeeper. Because I have got a spreadsheet now where I'm building all my teams in the different leagues that I'm able to play based on the cards that I've got available to me. So these are all the tournament modes that I'm going to be playing going forward. Now as you can see in the uncapped mode, so there's an uncapped mode here, the All-Stars Amateur, so you need three epics, um, maximum three epics there. Two, You can have two subs on this as well and two players from the same team. So as you can see, I've highlighted the, the epic cards I've got in this purple colour here. And obviously put the names of the teams that they play for. So that team's covered and I can fill these slots with common cards. The All-Stars Pro League, you need 14 epics maximum. Three mythics maximum as well. And again, three players from the same team in this one. 
So as you can see, I've got three Mythic cards here. These are these orange coloured cards. And I've also filled out the rest of my team with Epic cards as well. So they are all okay. So the cap modes, this is the Ultimate Champions Amateur. So you need six Epics max. You have three substitutes, three from the same team. And there's a cap here of 1,300. I think that is based on the last 15 scores, I believe, of the player. Not too sure on that. But it is based on the scoring output of these players. But as you can see, I've got plenty of limited cards there. The maximum allowed. Um, plus some um, backups as well. And then I'm going to fill up the rest of the team with these common cards look as well that you get free. I've also got the Ultimate Champions Pro. 14 epics again, 3 mythics and 3 from the same team. This is a cap of 1,400. So slightly higher cap on this one guys. As you can see I've got a full team there. And then they've got other mini tournaments which are 5 side leagues. So currently I'm able to compete in the Ultimate Champions Premier League. Which is the beginner tournament. So this is players from the Premier League. The English Premier League. German Bundesliga. French League 1. And the English Championship. And two epics max are allowed on this one I believe. And as you can see. I've got enough there. Two players plus two backups as well if needed. For those players. And to fill out the rest of the team with comments. Okay there. You'll see Premier League semi pro. So you can actually use a mythic in this one. And five epics as well if need be. So these are players again from the same leagues as the beginner tournament. So as you can see, I've got a full quartet of players there. And the UC Conference, we've got the, this is for the English League 1, English League 2, Scottish Premiership and the French League 2 players. So as you can see, um, only two epics are allowed. So I've got four players there. So two was going to start and two as backups for those players if needed. Fill out the rest of the team with common cards. And I'm also going to be playing the semi-pro guys. So as you can see it's the same leagues here. Um, and I've got two mythic cards there. And also filled out the rest of my team with epics. But as you can see here I need, need a backup epic goalkeeper. And I also needed a starting goalkeeper as well. Until today when I did buy Mitchell. With my champ tokens that I won. In the game which just gone by. There he is. I think he's a good signing. He had a pretty, pretty decent match in the last game. Um, so I think he's one of the better French League 2 players available. Obviously I'll need to look at these other leagues as well. For a backup option there. So the Finland League as you can see. It's looking a little bit scarce from here. This is the beginner um, tournament. Because I've only got one epic. So realistically I'm only going to be looking uh, to play probably two epics here. Don't want to spend too much money to go into the higher leagues just yet. So I need another epic here. And I also need two backups. So this is one of the packs that I could potentially buy guys. We've also got the Latvian League. So I've got um, Savalinex for RFS. Who are a fantastic team. So he's a really good card to have. We've also got Valamias as well. For Gelgava. And Buck Welly. Who's decent for Dig of Pillis. He's pretty young as well. He was a reward from previous game week. Can fill out the rest of the team with commons, but I still do need another backup um, defender, midfielder, or forward here. Just as a backup option, so make sure I have two epic cards in this lineup, which is the maximum allowed there. So that's another pack that I could potentially open here. We've also got Iceland. I've only got one player in there. Same scenario here. Needs more there. Romanian 7 Pro is looking alright. I've got two epics and plenty of players to fill out the rest of the slots. And the Norway division as well is pretty much full in terms of the epic cards as you can see. Um, so that team is pretty much sorted. So really guys, I really need to be concentrated on these three leagues I would say. Trying to fill in some of these epic slots. So... I think I'm probably going to target... I've got enough players here to start for a Latvian team. As you can see, you only need two. So I've just got three. I do need another backup, of course. But I think that I can actually fill the team with that. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. I've also got an Iceland team here that needs some work. And a Finland team, guys. So I'm just going to go over to the pack store now. Just see how much the silver packs are. Well, see how much the packs are in general. But I think it's probably going to be the silver packs that I'm going to be able to afford. Here we go. These are the silver packs, look. And as you can see, you've got them for each division. So that's the Finland League there, look. So that is one that I do need to fill out. And also the Latvian League. the Not Latvian, sorry. The Iceland League. So the Finland League silver pack, if we go into that. As you can see, it's going to get you one epic card 95 percent chance and you got a five percent chance getting a mythic guys so that would be good as well 
Uh, but as you can see, these packs would normally cost $24.99. But because I've got enough MGC that I've won in a tournament, I can buy this, this pack instead with my MGC instead of spending money. Um, the other one, of course, the other option was the Latvian League. So I think it was Latvian. No, it was Iceland. Keep getting that wrong. Um, so where is the? So this is the Iceland pack here. So it's the same price. I need to decide which one I want to buy there. Obviously, the other option was the gold pack, but that's too much. As you can see, it's um, ten thousand MGC that one. But in this one, you're guaranteed to get a mythic card. Um, so there's ninety nine point nine five percent chance there of getting a mythic, and not point not five chance of getting a unique. But the stage I'm at, guys, at the moment, I don't really need to get any more mythics at this stage. I think I just need to fill out these epic teams first, which I'm focusing on at the moment. So, I need to decide between the Iceland League or the Finnish League then, guys. Um, so, now I have got Koski for the Finnish side. He's a really good player, actually. Um, and the other player I've got in this team is also a quality player as well. So it's pretty hard to decide which one to go for, guys, here, really. Um, so which one should I go for? Iceland or Finland? I think I'm going to go with Iceland, I think. I'm going to go with Iceland. No, I'm going to, I'm going to go with Finland. I'm going to stick with Finland. I'm going to open this pack right now, see how I get. So I'm going to go ahead and click buy. So we should get two... Player cards in this one, guys. Should get two players. And one of them does have a chance of being a Mythic. Although two Epics are pretty much guaranteed, of course, if it's not a Mythic card. So it's more likely going to be uh, Epics. But that is what I need at the moment, realistically. So here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and open this pack, see what I get. And if I've got some spare money, which I will have, I'm going to buy some more starter packs as well to f get some more common cards to have extra Obviously, options in terms of picking my teams in the common leagues. So, here we go then, guys. Let's open the first player, see what I get. We'll see how good they are as well on UC Helper. So, let's see what we've got. Here we go. So, it is Terry Yegby. Now, this is a silver pack. Now, I think... I didn't think you could get actual common cards in the silver packs here, guys. I think I must have been really unlucky here to get this guy. I think, we'll look at that in a minute, but I think I've been really unlucky to get him, to be honest. I don't know how good he is. He's, a, he's another um, common card, at least. But let's see what we'll get here. Hopefully it's an epic. Yeah, here we go, an epic. So, DJ Paffit Williams is a forward. So, that's good news. But this guy, guys, to get a common and silver pack, I think it's probably like maybe a 1%, 2% chance and... So I've been very unlucky, I'd say. Um, but let's just have a look at this guy, Paffit Williams, to see if he's any good. Hopefully he is. Because um, that's a bit of a dampener, isn't it? Getting, getting this guy here, Yegby, a common card. Oh, this guy isn't coming up. Let's just type this in here. Uh, it doesn't look like he's coming up here, guys. I think it's because he's got a double-barreled name, potentially. Is it Parfit? Is that his name? Yeah, Parfit, double T. Ah, there he is. Right, here we go, guys. Let's have some greens here in terms of his um, fantasy scores. Let's see what we get. So he's 26. He's, 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 um, his graph's not looking too encouraging. Yeah, he's pretty... This guy is pretty awful, isn't he? Um... <laughs> Well, that is that is uh, that. I'd say that is disappointing, guys. That's the only word I can use here, really. But I'll add him to the spreadsheet for now, as you can see. I've not actually got any um, any other epics in this team at the moment, so I'll have to put him in for now. He's going to have to do for now, but I think I'll probably end up selling this guy once I've got a replacement. Because he looks pretty atrocious, doesn't he, really? So, let's just fill this in. So, there we go. We've got two players. So, at least I've got the minimum two epics. 
but he's anything but a pickaxe. And to get this uh, this guy here, it's, that is really unlucky. Let's just have a look at the chances here, guys. So it contains two ultimate cards from licensed teams competing in the finish. I don't know how you say that. With a guaranteed epic card and an additional bonus common or epic ultimate card. Right, okay. Ah, so it looks like you get an epic and there's a 75 percent of getting a common. So maybe I wasn't totally con there, but the the reward the, the actual player I got there, guys, look. We have seven pound twenty-two. This pack would normally cost twenty-four, so that is definitely not the best outcome there, what could have happened. But guys, there's still a bit of up. We've got this um jumbo pack here, 749. So I think I'm gonna probably buy that because you do have a 10% chance of getting epic in here. So I might as well buy this pack. So I'm going to go ahead and click buy. Submit order. Hopefully I'm a bit more lucky, you guys. And then I will spend any money that I've got left over, which is a little bit there, probably on some of the starter packs to fill out my common cards. Right, so let's hope I have a bit more lucky, you guys, and get an epic card in this jumbo pack. There's only a 10% chance, though, so I'm not holding out for anything. So we've got this guy, Defender, never heard of him. Uh, another common, but it's one of the new common cards, guys. This is the new design, and it's actually from the new league as well. So the Serbian league, guys. So I've got a Serbian Defender there. So that might come in useful if there is a five-a-side team for the um, Serbian division as well on Ultimate Champions. So let's have a look at the next one. It's Jer. He plays in the Romanian division. So no epics there, guys. So that was another disappointment, really. Let me just have a look at these packs. So these jumbo packs are infinite now. So they used to be where you could just get them for a certain time period and then they'd go sort of off the grid until next week. But obviously you can see you can buy as many of these as you want now. But the obviously, the, the better scenario really here, we've only given a 10% chance of getting epic in these is just to actually buy these starter packs because these only cost £3.49, 349 MGC. And um, you actually get five commons in here, guys. You don't get any um, uh, epic cards, but you do get five commons. So this was probably probably the better bet to actually go with these just to... Because you want to get so many of these as well, guys. Look, there's three, three of each one for each league for each player so i should have probably bought them to be honest rather than this jumbo pack and then saved up my coins for these silver packs because obviously ideally i just want to fill out my epics at the minute but i'm going to open one of these now as well i'm going to open this premier league pack why not might actually get some good players in this one hopefully as i say they are going to be common cards but they all do add up if i can get a star player in here Obviously, the Arsenal players are probably the star players. Maybe some Wolfberg players as well. That would be good. See what we get here then, guys. So, the first player is Ramsdale for Arsenal. That's good. That's a really good pickup. We've also got Jonathan Tarr for Bayer Leverkusen. He's also a good player. Patrick Roberts, a midfielder for Sunderland. Don't know how good he's doing recently. We've also got Danny Ward as well for Huddersfield. I think he's been pretty decent for them forward. And we've also got Mark... Um, Baku, sorry, for Wolfsburg. That's another copy of Baku that I've got there, guys. 126 MGC left. So I can't afford any more packs this week until I win some more. But as I say, guys, I think what I'm going to do is try and get enough each game week to buy these silver packs until I've filled out all of these epic slots here and potentially replace some of these weaker tier players that I've been getting as well. Um, and then... With any spare MGC each week, I will also get my um, allowed supply of these uh, starter packs as well, just to fill out my common cards. Because the common cards are really important, guys. You do need them in the tournaments to fill out your teams. And then once I've got all my epic cards, and I'm happy with all the players in all these slots here, guys, I will then probably start saving up for the gold pack to start getting some more mythics so I can enter the highest scarcity tournaments. So that was it guys. That was it for this video. The new game week is actually now live. 
as well. So I have got a few players in action tonight in the English um, League 1 and 2, I think it is. So I'm going to get an eye on that after this video. But that was all my players purchased now, guys. And they should also now be in my collection as well. So quite a lot more common cards there, guys, as you can see. And also this epic card. I was also to buy, able to buy this player that I had on my shortlist as well in the goalkeeper slot with the champ that I won this game week. So it's not all bad, really, guys. It's a steady progress, but definitely worth getting involved with all the champions if you've not done so already. You can do that by using the link in the description and you will get a free Epic card after buying $20 worth of packs in the pack store here. Okay then guys, thanks for watching as always. Um, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'll catch you again on the next video. Good luck in the game week if you are involved in Ultimate Champions.